Oh, hell yeah. No! Hello everybody, my name is Freddy, this is Split Screen. Today we are going to be watching uh, Endor Season 1 Episode 10. Title, uh, One Way Out, I think. One Way Out. Um, so yeah, last week we re it was revealed to us that you're not really um, going to escape the prison. Not escape, you're not going to really get out of the prison and after you serve your sentence, you're just going to be transferred into another part of the prison. So yeah, that's right. But it lit the fire of revolution and the Kino Loises ask, let's not waste any time, let's just get into this. Let me drink this in. That's so good. That Olaf. Rest in peace, Olaf. You will be missed. Oh, ho -ho, let's go. Look, he looks mad. Tomorrow. We can't wait. We'll never have a better chance. You sound insane. No, listen to me. Oh, he's not convinced enough just yet. What would you call that? I call that power. Power. The power doesn't panic. Hell yeah. Come on, Kino. I'd rather die trying to take them down than die giving them what they want. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Let's go. I love Endor. He's finally like getting radicalized. It's it's really peak of his radicalization. Going to prison, going to fucking prison. New man tomorrow. Ooh. Oh, no. The old guy. Let's spread the propaganda, baby. No one is getting out. Oh, I genuinely thought he was fully turned. He's still having doubt. Oh, this music. The rumors are true. Oh, in the circus, man. They're not letting us go. So let's get our heads back in our cells and start figuring this out. Oh, are we cooking? Are we finally cooking? Unidentified ship, dead pilot. Let's assume Krieg is watching. The least suspicious thing that we could do would be to take an interest. That is exactly what we will do. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, where, where am I hype? We are done. With counting shifts. Let's go. There is only one way out. Hell yeah. But I'm gonna assume I'm already dead and take it from there. Let's go. Oh, the music is going crazy. Let's go. On program! I'm with them. I'm with them. Let's go. Their eyes are full of hate. That's what we want, baby. Fuck the imperialists. <laughs> Who are these? Dr. Momoi. She needs her meds. She knows it. Dr. Momoi. Oh, Sinta. Who is this? Wait, do I know him? I was here once. I just left Chandra. That was cool doing. But one of the indulgences of great wealth is freedom from other people's opinions. Oh, that's true, actually. You've made your point. Yes, everyone says you're very direct. You've made your point. It's crazy. He basically told him to shut the fuck up. So, searching for a more fluid banking situation, are we? We've discussed all this, Dabba. I'd like to hear her say it. I love the triangle. It's really cool. I love the triangle. What will it cost? I want that fee. Oh. What does he want? I'd feel oh. far more comfortable paying you for your trouble. I'd like a return invitation. I have a 14-year-old son. Wait, what? That can't be serious. What? No daughter's 13. She'll soon come of age. Whoa. That's crazy. He wants to, what, marry Lida and his son? Your only offer? I'm afraid so. Tay will see you out. It's a lot to think about. I'm not thinking about it. That's the first untrue thing you've said. Oh man, that's so hard to do. Arranged marriage is gonna make Lida hate her more. Don't die till you put up a fight. Hell yeah. Keep it moving! Oh, what is he gonna do? Oh, I love that everyone has bought in. So they're gonna, gonna try to escape like today, right? This is the replacement for Olaf. <laughs> What is this? What is uh, Casa doing? How's it looking out there? Looks good. 
No, it doesn't. And that's really not lying when he said like, they don't care. They're really, they're really dumb. They think these people are not capable of revolution. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> they're gonna flood the room. Oh, this is it, this is it. One way out. Oh. Come on. Come on, cash in. Yeah, they're flooding the floors. So it doesn't like shock them. Hey, to me? I said nothing. I mean, if you want to say something, you should say it now. Nice distraction. <laughs> Hell yeah, new boy. Let's go, new guy. Okay, he's dead. Attack! Oh no! Fuck the floor! Get on the table! Oh! Uh. Okay, it's like malfunction now, right? Because of the water. Hell yeah! Attack! Go! Oh, the music makes me feel like I want to stand up. Let's go. Fuck this guy. Oh. oh, he's like the best shooter they got. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. One way out! Come on, fight! That's the call for revolution, baby. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, I'm so hyped. Deviation. Or failure to comply. My whole being is on fire. It's a late five. Locked in. I hope you die, buddy. Fuck you. The episode of five two. Yes. Turn it off! That could mean so many things. Let's go. I I'll turn it off. <laughs> Caught the power. So hydro. Once we turn it off, it takes months to get it back up and running again. Who gives a shit, buddy? <laughs> Let's go. That's the backup power supply. On program! Now! Yeah, how do, you, how do you feel about that, sucker? What, is he gonna do, make an announcement or something? Why? Why? Tell him what to do. Come on, Kino. It has to be you. Come on, Kino. My name is Kino Loy. What a voice. We have deactivated every floor in the facility. Let's go. Get up. Stop the work. Hell yeah, Kino. They don't have enough guards, and they know it. How does it feel, you fucking suckers? And I would rather die to take them down than giving them what they want. Hell yeah. We know that they are making up our sentences. As we go along, we know that no one outside here knows what's happening. Oh, this is so cool. Andy Serkis, voice. And that ends today. Yeah, evil dies tonight. Climb, kill. We need to help each other. Let's go. We can fight half as hard as we've been working. We will be home in no time. Oh, one way out. But they're gonna have to go out to the sea, right? Yeah, that, that was the advice. Doesn't matter. Better than this fucking shithole. Yeah, fucking cowards. Let's go. No! Can't swim. No! What the fuck? No, what the fuck? What? Oh, I'm so fucking mad. I'm so pissed off. What the fuck do you mean he can't swim? Oh, this is the guy um, in the with Didra, right? Is he? Oh, is he? Wait. No, does that mean Kino is not escaping? Fuck. Oh. I'm giving you Spellhouse. I'm warning you about Ferrix. I'm honoring my vow. What were you planning to tell the ISP? Yeah. My health. Even as you say the words, you know it's impossible. He's gonna quit? There's no pleasure in saying it, but you're going nowhere. Oh, that's scary. My sacrifice means nothing to you, does it? We need heroes, Lonnie, and here you are. I agree with him, Lonnie. And what do you sacrifice? Whoa. 
What do you know about him? That's an asshole question, Loli. Kindness, kinship, love. Oh. I've given up all chance at inner peace. I made my mind a sunless space. Oh. I share my dreams with ghosts. Wow, I made my mind a sunless space. I yearn to be a savior against injustice without contemplating the cost. And by the time I look down, there's no longer any ground beneath my feet. I burn my decency for someone else's future. I burn my life to make a sunrise that I know I'll never see. I burn my life for the sunrise I'll never see. Ah, oh, so good, man. Everything! Yeah, fuck off. You understand that? What do you know? Oh, that's such a good speech. Holy. I sacrificed my whole life for the sunrise I'll never see. Oh my god. Oh. Baby, this is this is how you shoot night scenes, by the way. Oh, what an episode, what an episode. Let's talk about Kinoloi. Oh man, he's like, he's like uh, the, Mo the Moses figure, he's sac sacrificing everything so people can have peace. Oh, that's so sad. Fuck. Dude, I, I haven't even processed the whole scene like that. When he said, can't swim and it's just like deafening, being drowned out by the music, it was such a... An effective scene just in the middle of the chaos. He was the one that rallied all the people together with his speech over the, the speakers all over the prison. And he's the one that's not gonna see the light. He's gonna be tortured. He's gonna gonna die. Fuck. That's so fucking sad. It hasn't sunk in yet. The whole Kino can swim thing. It's really sad. And it shows you the price of the revolution not everybody is gonna come out of it alive but for them for these heroes they understand that i think you know says something like i'm gonna assume i'm already dead and take it from there because he knows he can escape but he doesn't want anyone else to suffer it's the moses figure oh man what a great character from this non-nonsense leader that just wants to get this over with to this messiah that sacrificed himself for the greater good. Oh, this the writing in this show is immaculate. Speaking of writing, the the speech, let me go through it by one by one. Calm, love, kindness, kinship, that's what he sacrificed to be this. And we know we know that because he's this gritty, grumpy old man that by the sacrifices that he had to make for so long and this speech this speech this is the only person that can give this speech everyone else and it wouldn't make sense even though the content is logical but no one better to say and deliver this other than um, Luton first of all because of his character that because it makes sense for him to say all this. Second of all, because it's Stellan Skarsgård and he's fucking awesome, dude. Oh my god, I'm still reeling from this episode. The thing that he said in this speech is so fucking good. I'm going to watch this scene every day, I think, for the next two months. So good. What the fuck? I want to watch this episode again now. By the time I looked down, there was no longer any ground beneath my feet. So good, man. I burn my decency for someone else's future. I burn my life to make a sunrise that I know I'll never see. Who wrote this? Who wrote this episode? Written by Bo Williman. Okay, let's let's stand up and salute the people that write this show. Salute, salute Tony Gilroy. Salute Bo Williman. Salute to everyone that contributed to this awesome as fuck show i really love this show man wow this is probably the best episode i went from 
so hype that they're gonna escape prison to to them pulling the rug under us when find out that when I found out that Kino cannot swim they just don't don't be too happy buddy because the revolution has a price and then to end it with to tie it all up with Luton speech that's the perfect episode perfect perfect 10 out of 10 five stars this after the first three episodes no the first two episodes i didn't think that this show was gonna be this good <sighs> i'm still reeling bro yeah so that's it that's a perfect episode 10 out of 10 probably the best um single probably the best thing that ever came out of, out of star wars you know i love An- empire strike back but that one made me feel so different i love how different it it felt from other Star Wars property. That's all for this reaction. If you like the reaction, you can like and subscribe. If you don't like the reaction, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, my name is Freddy. This is Switch King. Goodbye.